For a long time, I've been operating my laser cutter using the original lens that came with it. But I've recently branched out and tried a few different lenses. And here's what I've discovered. I've got three lenses to test, with the following focal distances, 63.5, 101.6, and 127 millimeters. The parameters I'll be focusing on to compare them are cutting speed, focal range, kerf, the precision in cutting small parts, and the final surface quality. In order to execute these tests, I've set up a job that includes a 6x6 grid of squares, intended to check the consistency of the cut, a puzzle piece to measure the kerf, and a range of different shapes to evaluate the overall surface finish. I'm executing these tests using plywood and acrylic materials, both in thicknesses of 1 8 and 1 quarter inches. For the purpose of the test, I'm keeping the laser power constant, while pushing each combination of lens and material to its maximum speed limit. The first variable I looked at was the cutting speed. I set the 63.5mm lens as my standard, and switching to the 101.6mm lens, I didn't notice a significant speed shift. However, when I used the 127mm lens, there was a noticeable drop in speed, especially with the acrylic. I assume this is mostly due to a poorly configured air assist, with the beam having to travel through much more smoke before reaching the material. The area where I noticed substantial improvement was in the focal range, an important factor when handling warped wood. I saw a noticeable improvement when using both the 101.6 and 127mm lenses compared to the original lens. The plywood showed an improvement of about 2mm, and the acrylic nearly doubled that to 4mm. These figures, though they may appear small, are significant given the higher than normal cutting speeds I'm operating at with the overall trend holding more weight than the specific numbers. Moving on to kerf, which is essentially the width of the cut, the change across these lenses is relatively minor. If you look closely, there's a slight difference, but it's fairly small. And because of that, no details were lost on the small pieces. Finally, let's talk about surface quality. As we move to lenses with larger focal distances, we're dealing with larger beam sizes, which means the power isn't distributed evenly across the cut. Most of it is still concentrated towards the center, leading to a slight outline around the edges on plywood and some glue residue on the protective paper film on acrylic. With the 101.6mm lens, the outline on plywood is quite subtle, and you probably wouldn't notice it unless you were specifically looking for it. And on the quarter-inch acrylic, there is some residue left, but it's fairly minimal. However, with the 127mm lens, things start to change. The outline on plywood is significantly more noticeable, especially on smaller pieces, and there's considerably more residue left on the acrylic that used the paper protective film. Plus, due to a less than ideal air assist setup in my case, there was noticeably more burning. But if you're running a proper air assist setup, the burning shouldn't be as much of an issue. I hope this video was helpful and gave you some understanding of what might work best for your use case. I personally will try to run a 101mm lens and see how it goes.